Number 11. Explain why a carbon atom cannot form five bonds using sp3d hybrid orbitals. Uh, so the answer is it, it just can't. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. <laughs> just kidding. So let's get down to it, right? I would never leave you hanging like that. Why can't carbon form five bonds? The rule is that carbon can only have four bonds, right? It could only have the octet rule, no more. Now, mainly, this is coming from electron configuration. So we gotta get those, uh, we gotta get those um, periodic tables out. So this will kind of be a brief overview because we've already learned electron configuration, but if we look at our periodic table, carbon's electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p2. That's it. That's all it's got. And the valence electrons are the ones that are going to be forming the bonds, the hybrid orbitals. So just keep that in mind. So hybrid orbitals always come from valence electrons. So in, you know, in carbon's electron configuration, this 1s is not good enough. That's not part of the valence shell. These are because the highest, the number, or the highest number in your element, those are your valence electrons. And carbon only has a max of two plus two, so that's why it has four valence electrons. But now why can't I form a sp3d orbital? Well, good question. If you're trying to form an sp3 3d orbital, that means that you have to have access to the three types of orbitals. You have to have access to a s orbital, you have to have access to a p, and you have to have access to a d orbital. Now keep in mind that your s's will always start at 1s. That's why everybody's got an s orbital, right? Everybody always starts from the, the bottom up. So you're always going to have a 1s. Everybody, all the elements are going to have the s. And chances are, I mean, if you're not hydrogen or helium or lithium or I think that's sodium, right? Is it sodium? No, it's magnesium. The p's start with 2. And that's why you see here 2p. That's the, the lowest p that you can have. So a lot of our nonmetals are going to have the P's. But now when you're talking about D's, you need to have access when you're in the threes. The lowest D is when you start with three. So the lowest S will start at one. The lowest P will start at two. And the lowest D will start at three. So if I could make a SP3D orbital, I have to be or my valence electrons have to be in the threes, at least the threes, right? Because that's where the start is. But here, we're just ending at the twos. So, and those are your principal quantum numbers. So for carbon, since you only have a principal quantum number, that's an N number, right? The principal quantum number for your valence is two, you don't have access to the D's. No access to D orbital because the D starts with three. And that's why you can't have an sp3D hybrid orbital. But for example, sometimes sulfur can have sp3D hybrid orbitals because if we look at what sulfur's valence or uh, electron configuration is. If we just quickly run through this, if we look at where sulfur is on the periodic table, sulfurs is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and then 3p4. So even though sulfur does not have any d electrons, electrons in the d orbital, it still ends in three and now you have access. So that's just like a little difference between carbon versus sulfur. And hopefully that makes sense. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know if this helped you out. Leave a comment down below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you wanna help us out. 
that helps us out tremendously as it does give, you know, uh, the word out there, it gets the word out there in the YouTube universe, whatever YouTube does with the, the all encompassing algorithm, uh, you know, and it only takes one second to click, to click the button. So thank you. Thank you. If you guys are going to press the button, but if not, that's okay too. We're still going to help you guys out. Hopefully you're doing well out there and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.